What I'm about to show you is what I think might be the biggest upgrade we could possibly make on a Challenger Hellcat. That's right, we're putting a Holly Dominator on it. I've teamed up with Holly to do a full standalone ECU on this car because we are tired of getting shut down doing burnouts. Every time we've gone out for Cletus and cars or screwing around, we start throwing codes and it just, we're trying to tune the car up too high of power and the computer's not liking it. So we said, if we're gonna fix this, we're gonna do it right. And so if you wanna win with Holly, I've put everything in the description below so that you can put your Hellcat on a standalone ECU to have full customization. So over the next couple of days, the guys at Shop Hellcats plan on getting this car running. So we're gonna mock up the blower on top of the motor today so that y'all can see what it looks like. I really wanna see it. So I just came down here today just to film this video so that I can see this thing before it goes in the car. Y'all check out this absolute behemoth of a blower. This is four and a half liters from Whipple. The stock Hellcats have a 2.4 liter. So this is almost double the size that we're putting on this thing. Because if y'all remember when I was sending it on the burnout pad, thing got too hot seize the stock unit up so we had to replace it so might as well go big now this isn't like an 871 or a 1071 but this is the next best thing that was readily available so that we could get the car running and put in some events this year because this thing's literally designed to do burnouts and it's killing me that it's sitting like this because i just i love it and i'm kind of a hellcat guy i've always kind of been a mopar guy at heart so these are some long anticipated upgrades I've been looking forward to getting done on this Hellcat. And so the guys down at Shop Hellcats in Fort Myers are helping me put this thing together. There's a lot going on and this car is kind of above my knowledge. So I'm trying to learn with them. They, have, they are like the know-it-all guys. They have all the parts, all the knowledge when it comes to these cars. So if y'all need anything, hit them up. They've got a great website so you can buy parts for your cars online as well as seek their help or even get your car dynoed or help with tuning. So hit them up, shophellcats.com. Lead us to the cool engine room so that we can be in some air conditioning and get the heads on this thing and mock this blower up. If I haven't already gone over it, this motor has upgraded rods and pistons, as well as the heads have gone through completely, upgrading things like valve springs and the valves and the rest and everything like that. Just because we're gonna be putting a lot more power to it, we wanted to upgrade everything from stock considering this car has so many miles on it. And if it's the matching block, but I guess these blocks don't have a vent on them, do they? No, they no, don't. they don't. So we really don't know if it's the original block for this car, but hey, it's still the the six one Hellcat, right? Six, six, six one. Six two. Six two. Six two. Six two. Let's put this puppy on here and see how big it looks. Here we hold that. Yeah. <laughs> this is why I work out so I can for moments like this so I can apply my. Yeah, it makes it all worth it. Just grab there's it. No, there's no good easy way to hold. No, it isn't. It. You just gotta man it. Can yeah. Handle it. God dang, is that a beautiful cider roll? <laughs> Good lord. Here you can have it. Comparison to what is this? An L it's a LSA or? Yeah, it's an LS3. LS3 with a Mag Maggie on it. <laughs> this thing's gotta be a couple hundred pounds more. But we'll keep that between <laughs> us. We know these things aren't meant or built for, for weight reduction, you know, or lightweight. But hey, so he's beefy, right? God dang, boys. So. This motor also has a 10% over pulley on the crank. Do we know if we're gonna do a pulley on the Whipple yet? Uh, 475? 475. They're a lot bigger on the Whipples, right? Yeah. The rotors are so much bigger. In yeah, once, not... once we're done here, we have rotors out of another one that you can see how big they are compared to a stock one. Yes, we gotta see that. Just for comparison, or not for, so just so you guys can see what this looks like, this is the exact same blower rotors that are going in my car. This is out of a four and a half liter Whipple that's going in Zach's red eye that he's got taken apart over there. And these things are beefy. What do you say, they're about double the size of the stock Hellcat? Yeah, yeah, it goes by displacement of the rotors. So 
Uh, four five would be the displacement of the rotors. Four five versus the two four that two comes four, stock yeah. on a Hellcat. Yeah, because you know traditionally on like um, you know like an LSA or you know a stock Hellcat, you you want to downsize your pulley, and the pulleys are so much smaller on those superchargers because the rotors are a lot smaller, so they're not moving as much mass. When you look at like a Whipple that's big or like an 871 or a 1071, the pulleys are inches, I mean a couple inches in diameter versus on the smaller blowers, they're a lot smaller, right guys? I mean, you know, it's just different designs and different applications depending on what you're doing. So they're really not spinning as fast, but since they're so much bigger, they're able to force equivalent or more air. I mean, how much is this thing gonna, how, how much boost are we gonna be making with this, you think? With that conservative pulley, probably about 19 or 20 pounds. We'll yeah, so 19 or 20 pounds, you know, I mean, to get us to a thousand, you know, without killing the blower or over speeding it. Mm -hmm. I mean, that was probably our biggest issue. We had 10% over on the crank, and then we had a really tiny pulley on the stock supercharger. So it got super hot when I was staying on the limiter, doing a burnout with my friends, and that's why it seized up. It got so hot that the rotors expanded into the casing, and the thing completely seized up, and then it killed the motor. So initially, I thought I completely locked up the motor. Well, I really didn't. It was the supercharger that locked up and stopped the belt, stopped the whole drive system, and the, the car just shut down. So we loaded it up on the trailer, brought it home. I immediately brought it to the guys at Shop Hellcat so we could diagnose it, and now look where we are. Pretty much a really solid 1,000 horsepower build. Yeah, I love gonna it. Rip. It is going to rip. Oh, and I ordered Bill's specialty wheels today. So if you haven't seen their wheels, they have a great selection for drag pack or even you know daily street driving go check out their website they have an amazing selection last time i was down here shop hellcats i don't know if y'all remember this car but this is a hellcat with a four and a half liter whipple on it it's good for 1090 to the wheels right yeah it's, it's still on the big pulley we can't get the rev past stock rpm okay the newer computer is kind of finicky so get a holly on that rig right because yeah i mean it's making the bare minimum it's 1095 is what it made yeah. But it should make like a 1150 to 1180. It's still on the stock motor, so Ooh, it, it, it makes uh, like a stock Hellcat makes like 11 pounds. Right. This makes like 28 pounds. 28? Yeah. Oh four, my five. god. Yeah, you're, you're gonna be there very soon. Show me some of your guys' secret sauce back here. What are you doing to use Hellcats? Sure, yeah, so we just modify all the stock Hellcat blowers. We like basically open them up, let them put more air. Like, and you, know. you guys are with Fast Motorsports, correct? Yep, yep okay. that's correct. And you're out of shop Hellcat shop, right? Is yeah, that where so you guys are the, working? We're in Suite C, so they have A and B, we have C. Okay. Conveniently, you know, we're in the same spot. But yeah, so we, we basically we started making these about three years ago. Mm -hmm. They went through about three revisions. So now they're, I mean, as, as good as they could be. And why is this so much better than a stock piece? Great question, I'll show you. Yeah, see, even the even IHI revised them. This one has a little bit over spray on it, but so, so here's a stock bearing plate. So like the air obviously enters through the snout. Yes. Um, so throttle body. There you go. Yeah, here you go. So throttle body mates up to here. Yep. We open that up to 108 millimeters, so it matches to the bigger throttle body. Okay. We take out you know a lot of material and humps and stuff, smooth it out. So then this goes to the back of this, right? So this goes. So this is the stock one, right? So the air only goes through these little passageways here. Yeah. So what we did with this design was, we actually used to port these and people still do, uh, other companies, but we decided to make a billet version where we could actually make, you know, all the bearing legs a lot smoother and smaller, but still, you know, be just as strong. So if you look at the size of these bearing legs compared to these, mm -hmm. you know, it's obviously a massive difference than- Much airflow, not much airflow. Right, and we actually removed this because we're able to remove that now that the whole thing's stronger from made, you know, made out of billet. But just from the bearing plates alone on a 15 to 17 car, you gain about two pounds of boost with no other modifications. And wow. Then, well, coupled with, I think we've seen up to four pounds of boost with the throttle body, ported snout, and then this bearing plate. That's a lot. So yeah, that's no pulley change, nothing. Crazy. So yeah, pretty 
pretty impressive. So check this out. This is going to go on the Whipple, and this is what's called a smooth boost. And it's essentially a what? Like a blow-off valve for a supercharger, right? Or it's like a wastegate. It's a wastegate. Oh, yeah, my bad. So basically, you just use the dial, and then you can connect it into the... Uh, would it, you can connect it to the uh, well this, to the holly, right? This, That's the plan. Yeah, this part will work on a stock ECU, and you can use the dial to dial it in, or you can hook it up to the holly, and then we can control it just like you would a turbo charger. Cool. One more piece to get her done. Some long tube headers from Texas Speed and Power. These are a little bit more beefy than the bike. These are the two inch, right, Zach? Yep, they're the two inch. Look at those rigs. So what do you think? Should we just end the exhaust right here and not do anything else? No, I think you should put out the fender. <laughs> we should put it out the fender. We just need to get Ty to, you know, spend a weekend on it because I definitely can't do that. It's above my uh, abilities, but sheesh, freaking clean. That car we were just in, that Red Hellcat, has these on it. So we know they work and they know they sound good. Well, I hope you guys like this update on the Hellcat where the plan is to get it together for Bristol, which is in about two and a half weeks. Uh, it's a lot of pressure on these guys because they are running a business out of this place and we want to do it right. We got to get the motor back in the car, got to get the holly hooked up, dynoed, tested, tuned, the whole freaking deal. So, you know, I do have a surprise coming this week or early next week. I am picking Dr. Pepper up from the paint shop and it is so sick. We got a new spoiler on the car. I even got wheels ordered for this thing and wheels ordered for the Dr. Pepper trailer. There's a lot of content coming at y'all, especially with the races that are coming up like Cletus and Cars, the Bristol race, etc., etc. So make sure you subscribe, like, leave me a comment. And we'll see you on the next episode. Hello, car guy. I know it's super easy to forget to take care of yourself, especially when you're at the track. We're all drinking Mountain Dew and Dr. Pepper. This toothbrush is only $39. It's a great electric toothbrush. It's what I use every day. Normally they're $59, but if you click the link in the description below or use my coupon code QDNASK, you can get this toothbrush for only $39. Buy one for yourself, your girlfriend, whoever. They are an awesome toothbrush. It's basically the same thing as a Sonicare except a tenth of the price. So go get one. They send you a new brush out every three months so you don't have to worry about it. It's a great deal.